What do you think about when I'm thinking about reverse birdas? Let me have Sammy base me first. Sammy? <laughs> so some possible falls to think of, right? If you're coming forward this way and then your base still has your hands grabbed tight and you're falling forward that way, you're going to eat it pretty good, okay? So always open support. Open support. Um, so help, don't hold, okay? Open support. If I'm falling over this way, I got to get used to bringing my leg down first and my hands. If you just topple straight over this way and brace all that weight on your hands, that's a tremendous amount of force. You know, it's like your body weight plus the gravity of, of that forward motion is going to put a lot of strain on your hand. So if I'm falling forward, what I can do is if I feel like I'm starting to fall forward, I can bring myself to the side first and bring my feet down with my hands so I'm absorbing, I'm spreading out that weight. Um, so that's something to think about. If you fall back this way, you're landing on your feet. You know, it's not a big deal. You could definitely land your base's face too. So anytime you're in a reverse position, either a reverse bird or whale, you could land on your base's face because your feet are on this side. You wanna, when you land, make sure to spread your feet wide, okay? So keep that in mind if you're landing back this way. Um, and then landing side to side, out this way. Notice what Sammy did there. She kind of, when I was falling over to the side of this, I fall, she bent her leg a little bit, so she's lowering that height. She, it's, it's really easy for bases to forget to be in the moment and freeze up when there's a fall and just keep the legs straight and go timber like that. And that's a, that's a good height to fall from. So, so really bend those knees and then bring her out, okay? All right, Siobhan, come up so Sammy can watch the basic. All right, so if you're over here, uh, first thing I do is the foot placement. A common mistake is you'll bring the feet a little high up here. That will not work as well because you're all in the carriage and then you're pressing through the ribs. You really have to aim, curl those toes back, ease that gas off. So think about pedaling uh, your car, right? So ease off the gas really deep, point those toes towards the top of your legs. You may even need to bend your knees a bit to get there, okay? To get low there. And then as she leans forward, just like Bird, you're going to receive her weight and then kick up slowly, right? And be mindful, we're not holding on to the hands there. We're giving open support in case she falls. And a, a key thing for reverse Bird is that easing off the gas. Um, generally speaking, when you're basing, you'll, you'll have to be pressing through the toes. For this one, that's going to be bad because you're tilting your flyer forward. You want to ease off this way. And another thing I do is I try not to stay 290 when I'm first basing this. I'm bringing my legs bent a little bit and bringing it back, my flyer back towards me a little. That way, if there's a fall, it's more likely she's going to fall over back this way. So maybe ease off that 90, go back a little bit and bend your knee a little bit just to start. So you're, you're, you're on the side of caution over here. And my hands are always pushing for her. We're never pulling. We're open support, providing that platform for her to push off of. And I'm easing off this way, the gas this way, and my legs are more towards me here. So that said, I mean, it looks, for someone who's done it for a while, it could look easy and you could jump right into it, but I'd say for flyers that have never ever flown this before, start low, always start low. So something I can do is have, um, get myself on a belly base here, and then Siobhan can face away from me so she knows what it feels like to fall forward and get really used to that feeling of falling forward. And making sure there's a lot of there's plenty of mat space for it there to fall from. So let's say I'm going timber, I'm falling forward. She knows. Just, just this one's less for you as the base because you're not basing this way in reverse bird, but you're definitely uh, training your flyer to understand. Let's do that again, Siobhan. What it's like to fall forward and to get used to that feeling. So and to get familiar with falling. So when it does happen, it doesn't freak you out. It's a it's a feeling that you've become accustomed to. And you understand that that's just a part of the flying process is you're going to fall. But learning how to bring your hand and feet down to absorb that weight is key. Um, so I would do that exercise. I would also, if you don't have a partner um, at home, you're just practicing, go get two yoga blocks and put them right underneath your hips and just get used to bowing up like this and holding your core strong. Because the stronger, the more control you can hold your center and your core, the easier and the more control you'll be able to fall out. So it won't be just like, whoof. It'll be a nice controlled fall.
Um, other than that, be really mindful of that space behind you because we're at such a height here. It's not like bird where your flyer can fall towards you, you can protect them a bit. We're facing away, right? Let's go reverse bird. So when you're away this way, there's very little you can do to protect your flyer. It's falling. There's very little you can do. So that's why I always keep your legs back when you're beginning, back more towards this way. If you do feel like you're about to fall forward this way, um, again, it's very little your base can do. Um, you, you can at least bend the knees a little bit to lower that height. But even so, when you're bending the knees, you could also like have your flyer lunge forward. So that's why we want to practice on that belly base first. So the flyer feels really comfortable falling out of that because that is a very flyer intensive position to hold. Um, some things like bird and throne, your base can help you a lot. But for this one, it's a lot on the flyer. So you really have to like train yourself to be very comfortable in that position. Okay, so let's go ahead and belly base up. Or roll.